Yo, what's up everyone? Today we are doing PC optimization so you can get better frames in your games. We're gonna be optimizing Windows 10, things like uh, your applications such as Steam and Battle.net. We'll be doing some network optimization, some NVIDIA settings. We'll be going over some Warzone settings and even some OBS stuff for when you're streaming to not have as much frame loss. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go over some settings in Warzone specifically. So for me, uh, when streaming Warzone, I used to stream at about 60 to 80, anywhere in there, but now I'm able to get a solid 110 while streaming and off stream, I was getting anywhere between about 80 and 100, 110 before, but now I can maintain a solid 140 plus with my 2070 super. So I've got the NVIDIA 2070 Super with the AMD Ryzen 9 3900, and I'm still able to hit frames like that. So depending on what you have, you sh the sky's the limit. So what we'll do is go over all that and get you up there. So let's get started. All right, so here we go. The first thing that we are going to start doing for optimization is we're going to turn on game mode. So you can just hit your start menu, uh, start typing game mode and click game mode settings. So in here, you're gonna wanna turn game mode on. So this is supposed to optimize your PC for gaming. And while we're in here, uh, you should go into this game Xbox game bar, turn this off. I would recommend turning all of this off because it just gets in the way. Ca go to captures here and make sure uh, the background recording is off because you don't need this recording while you play, especially if you use the OBS replay buffer or NVIDIA shadow play or something like that. So this is just gonna take up extra resources that is unnecessary. So turn that off and then that's everything we're going to do in here. We've got game mode captures and the game bar. So you can close out of here. The next thing we're going to do is check out focus assist. So you can start typing focus assist, go here. Um, in here, uh, I would turn it for alarms only and turn it so that when you're playing a game, it's on. Basically what this will do is stop any notifications from bothering you while you're in game. And because we don't want those interruptions. From here, uh, you should be able to go to find a setting and click background apps. And now you want to turn background apps off. You don't want anything running in the background while you're playing. So make sure that is off. Then we can close this, go to performance options. Let's see, adjust the performance here. And I'm sure a lot of these will be checked for you already. Um, if you click for adjust for best performance and then apply, Okay, that'll uh, change a lot of performance for you in Windows. Your icons and stuff might look differently, but like I said, you can go in there and manually check ones to see if you didn't want those on or if you did. And then after this, we're going to go to mouse. So go to your mouse settings. Oh, not here. We want to actually, yeah, go here and then go to additional mouse options on the right here. Go to pointer options and make sure you uncheck this enhance pointer precision. Make sure that is empty. And then we can go into ease of access keyboard settings. And you want to turn off stick keys, toggle keys, and filter keys. None of those should be coming on while you are playing. So once you're done this, you can go to the task manager, 
go to also go to start up here. Um, anything that you don't need being launched when you start your computer, you can disable. Like Microsoft Edge doesn't need to launch with my computer. It'll launch when I open it, so that can be disabled. Uh, I don't need iTunes helper. The Epic, the Epic Games launcher, I only want to launch when I open it. Stuff like that. So like Adobe, your printer stuff. Um, Skype for business off, Spotify off, all stuff that will open when I open it manually. I don't need it starting when I boot my computer because that just takes up time. And then you can go into your services tab here. And if there's anything you feel comfortable in with here playing around with, um, there's a better way to do it. Uh, if you go to your start and type MS config, this will come up system configuration. You can go to services here and this way you can hide all of the Microsoft services. So you're not turning off anything Microsoft related. And then if there's any of these that you know what they are and don't need them running, you can disable your services. Um, like my Logitech face cam, I don't need right now. Um, Nvidia I'll keep my razor stuff. I'll keep, but I don't need razor game manager, etc. I don't need uh, Team Viewer service. I don't need Blue Sherpa. Uh, Steam service is running because I have Steam open down here, but you can turn off ones, that, like I said, that you don't think you need, but you don't have to play around in here too much. Another thing that will increase your games is DirectX 12. So to see if you have DirectX 12, go type DX Diag like that. Open that. and it will tell you what DirectX version you have down here. If you have any version below DirectX 12, you can go to your Windows updates, and if you search for, check for updates, your DirectX should be in there. And that's where you can do that. Uh, another thing that we can do with your software, I'm not gonna go over this really today. What this does is um, you can clean, you can clean your cache, um, your files, your browsers, and your, clean up your registry and stuff like that. Scan for issues, and that'll fix your registry issues and whatnot. Uh, another thing that I like to use here is Revo Uninstaller. So when you are uninstalling software. Uh, a lot of files and registry keys get left over and they clutter up your computer. So if you, I'm not going to super go over this. I have a video for this one for Revo Uninstaller. Um, and you can go here and um, when you uninstall programs through Revo Uninstaller, it's going to run their automatic or their built-in uninstaller. And then this program will scan for any leftover files and registry keys that were left over after, and you can delete them with a simple click that way. So it saves a lot of trying to search for them and it saves a lot of clutter on your computer. But like I said, I do have another video up for that, I believe. And then now we're gonna get into some network settings. So the first thing we're going to do is disable um, Nagel's algorithm. So what you need to do is find out what the IP address of your device is. So if you go start, type CMD, and you can type IP config. So you can see right here, I'm 10.0.0.197 for my ethernet adapter. So what I do now is I go into my registry editor. I can go up to actually this is exactly where you'll want to go is H key local machine and then system current control set services TCP IP parameters interfaces. And then when you get into the interfaces folder um, you can see they have different stuff in them here so I'm looking for this one which is my 10.0.0.197 that I found so 
we know that this is my ethernet adapter and now what we want to do is right click go new d word 32-bit value and you're going to create these bottom two this tcp no delay and you're going to create tcp ack frequency just like that exactly as they are and then once those are created as d word values you just double click on them change the value to one and then click ok and then will be done in here so we can delete that and then another thing that we're going to do now is go right click your internet down here go to open network and internet settings go to um, we can click properties here actually go to in the top right here change adapter options right click the network that you use, you might use a Wi-Fi one. If you're not hardwired, if you're hardwired, you want an ethernet one, click properties, go to IPv4, properties, and then down here, go to use the following DNS server address, use 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. And then click okay and close. And now we will get to some NVIDIA settings here. So uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, you should be able to go to your NVIDIA control panel here. Now in here um, on adjust image settings with preview, go down to slide this to performance here. And then on manage 3D settings, we want to change um, the ones we're really focused on is um, power management mode here. You can put on um, max performance, uh, turn max frame rate off, and then you want um, threaded optimization on, so you can use multiple CPUs or CPUs. Uh, vertical sync, you want off so if your monitor has a higher refresh rate than the frames you get in game that can cause tearing with this on so it's safe to just leave it off and what we'll do is we'll adjust some color in here so the desktop color settings it's good to have uh, 50 50 and then plus one and then down here um 55 is good, and we'll keep that at zero. We'll apply that. And then so another thing to make sure you're getting the best frames is in your NVIDIA GeForce experience. You want to go to drivers and make sure that you have the latest driver here. You can check for updates here and um, install that you always want to have the latest driver uh, you don't have to install it right when it comes out just in case there are issues with it but that's usually uh, checked with with beta drivers so you should be safe to update it and then that should be good for your video settings so now what we're going to do is go to um, battle.net so in battle.net what you want to do is Go up here to your menu, settings, go to um, on game launch, you want to exit Battle.net completely. So that'll close the Battle.net app so it's not taking up extra resources while you're playing. And then um, down here under advanced features, you want to turn off hardware acceleration. Because what hardware acceleration is going to do is use your video card to do extra things in the background, which we don't want it to. So we're actually going to turn hardware acceleration off for a lot of things. But that's where you do it on here. Um, if you want to, you can pause updates when you launch a game so that it's not still updating. That'll save network resources. And that should be good for um, the Battle.net app. And then in Steam, up here you want to go to Steam Settings. Go down to Downloads. 
and you want to um, uncheck allow downloads during gameplay, you do not want that on. And that should be it for Steam. Now, if you're like me and you like to listen to Spotify <clears throat> while you play games, you'll want to turn hardware acceleration off for Spotify as well. So um, open Spotify, go here, um, go to edit preferences. And then if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, there's this box here for enable hardware acceleration. Turn that off. You don't want that on either while you're listening to music. And that should be good for Spotify. Now we're going to go into um, some, we'll go into some edge settings. So in here, if you use Microsoft Edge, even if you don't, if you have it on your computer, because some applications will use it as a default browser, uh, I would suggest go click these three arrows, go down to performance, and then uh, you can turn efficiency mode on, but also click here where it says learn more. And then, so uh, you can improve your PC gaming experience with efficiency mode. I would turn that on and right here again, turn off use hardware acceleration when available. You don't want that running and you don't want running background extensions and apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. So that if you've got the browser closed while you're gaming and or streaming, you don't want it continuing to use resources. So those two off and these can be on. And then that should be good for Edge. If you use Chrome, we'll go up here. You can click these settings, go to settings, and in here you can just search for use hardware acceleration when available and make sure that is turned off. And then that should be good for Chrome. And then next what we'll do is we want to um, do that for Discord as well. So we'll open, oh, We'll open up Discord here, go to um, user settings down here, and then you will go down to the, where is it? Um, advanced tab right here, and then hardware acceleration, turn that off. So basically, like it says, it uses your GPU to make Discord smoother, and it Again, it will cause frame drops, so turn that off. Because the last thing you need is 800 different applications using your video card while you're trying to play a game. So that's good for Discord. And then um, what we'll do now is, so in here we have um, our, oops, we have our power plans. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to enable the ultimate performance plan. What you're going to do is click start, look for Windows PowerShell, and then you can right click it, run as administrator. And then in here, what you're going to do is um, copy and paste that in there. And what I'll do is I'll paste this in the description of this video so you can just copy it from there. And then once you hit enter, you should see ultimate performance here. You can essentially close this. And then when you open your power, power options, additional power settings. So in here, you'll now see ultimate performance and you should be able to select that one. And then the last thing that we're going to do, uh, for a little bit of cleanup here in Windows is click here and start typing percent temp percent hit enter and everything that's in here just delete it delete all your temp files um if it's something so this one can't be deleted because I'm using word right now so that's fine skip it these ones are all in use by my open programs so 
if you have everything closed, you shouldn't get those issues, but you can delete everything in your temp folder. And that should be good for there. So now we will move into OBS settings. So as you can see here, um, this is OBS Studio. So uh, what we'll do is, first of all, one thing that we'll do for this video is when you're gaming and you can right click and uncheck enable preview. So that now is no longer showing what we'll see on the screen or what your users will see. So once you're all set up, you can do that. So this way uh, your computer is OBS isn't rendering the video twice. Do you know what I mean? You're not watching it playback in this window itself. So that is uh, always helpful. And then say a uh, new browser source. Sure, we'll create, um, or I'll just add this one. So what you want to do with your browser sources is in properties, uh, make sure that you shut down the source when it's not visible. So that way, if you turn any of them off, then it won't still be running in the background, which will help. So you can do that. And then in here, go to your settings under general here. Um, there is Maybe there's nothing under general here. Um, go to stream. Nope. So on the output tab here, the best settings for non partnered streamers is actually 936 P. So you don't want to be streaming in 1080 if you're not a partner. And I've even seen some Twitch partners that still choose 936 P because it's the best. So you would use your NVIDIA encoder that you have and you want to rescale the output. So this is only going to um, put your live video at 936p. You can still get 4K clips or 1080p clips while you're playing and or you're re you can still record in 1080p. Uh, I have another video on how to get HQ clips with OBS Studio that you can check out. I would set the, you want the, CBR, which is a constant bit rate, so that it doesn't change, and you want it at 6000. The preset is quality, profile high, max B frames 2. And like I said, I've got another video for recording settings if you want to check that out. And now, also in here, we will go to um, the advanced tab. So if you scroll down on the advanced tab, you want to enable network optimizations. And down here, you the box that says enable browser source hardware, hardware acceleration, you want to uncheck that because we do not want any browser acceleration for your sources. And that should about cover OBS here. So now what we'll do is um, we'll check out some war zone settings here. Wait for this to load up. And actually, um, before we do this, so you can go to settings, go to show and explorer, and then go into your Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder. And you will see a Modern Warfare launcher and a Modern Warfare EXE. I want you to right click both of those, go properties, compatibility, and I want you to disable full screen optimization. Uh, if you don't, it's always just good to run as administrator, but disable the full screen optimization and then click change high DPI settings and make sure you override the high DPI scaling behavior by application. Okay. okay. And you want to apply that and then go here to the other one, modernwarfare.exe, properties, compatibility, full screen optimization, disable that, run the program as an administrator and override high DPI with the application. Okay, okay. And now uh, you can do this for any game period, but if you click start and you go to 
graphics settings. Uh, in here, what you can do is, so I uh, you can pick your browse for your applications in here, which again, you've got your Modern Warfare Launcher and Modern Warfare.exe, add both of those. And then in here, set them for high performance. So you want the graphics performance not to be power saving or let Windows decide. This forces it to always be high performance. And like I said, you can add other games, but that's how you add for Warzone to force high performance. And now we will boot up the game and we will go over those settings. So go to options here, um, down at the bottom options, graphics, you want it to be full screen or else you'll get stutters and awkward re refresh rates. Choose your proper monitor and your video card. Your screen refresh rate, you want this to be um, what your monitor is set at. So if you have a 144 hertz monitor, you want this set at 144. Also, please note, um, HDMI cables cannot go above 120. Anything above 120, you're gonna need a display port cable for. Render resolution, you want to be at 100. It's the most balanced and will get you the best possible FPS. Below that, um, graphics become messy. Uh, display resolution is what your monitor is set at. Um, dynamic resolution, you want disabled. Um, If it's to maintain target frame rate, uh, you can use it. You don't have to. Uh, I just leave it disabled. And then we don't worry about this. Aspect ratio you want to be automatic. Um, sync every frame should be disabled. So what this is going to do when it's enabled, if you have, if your monitor refreshes at 60 hertz, this is going to limit it you to 60 frames per second. So uh, you want VSync off, custom frame rate limit. You can put the highest, I just choose unlimited, but um, some people do want say 60 in their menu. If just to keep it standard. So um, when I don't have it unlimited, uh, my monitor is 144 Hertz refresh rate. So I just keep this at 144 and then 60 for the menu, but otherwise unlimited. And then go scroll down. Uh, NVIDIA highlights, you want disabled, no questions about it. It's It will cause you more grief than it's worth. So NVIDIA highlight is disabled. And then the NVIDIA reflex low latency, I have enabled plus boost. And next we can go to our quality tab up here. Sure, we'll apply. Um, field of view, whatever. I've been told that anything higher than 110 will cause lower frames, whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. So I keep mine at 105. It's just, that's personal preference where I like it the best. Um, streaming quality, normal, texture, normal, anisotropic, normal. Particle quality, uh, high. Bullet impacts and sprays does help with gameplay, so we keep that enabled. Tessellation disabled. Dismemberment and gore we can keep enabled. On-demand texture streaming, we want that disabled. Filmic strength, you want that set to one. Um, because, I mean, we use uh, NVIDIA DLSS, so anti-aliasing is removed. But since we don't have anti-aliasing on, we set this to one. And NVIDIA DLSS, you want balanced. Depth of field is disabled, or else your graphics will be blurry. Uh, motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled. Shadow map resolution, you want low. Now, some people choose to disable caching spot shadows, but I um, I like to keep them enabled. So it, for rendering future frames, like it says, um, I have plenty of VRAM to spare at the bottom, as you can see, so I don't mind keeping it on, but you can turn those off if you'd like to get a little bit of extra frames. 
uh, particle lighting is low, ray tracing you absolutely want off, ambient occlusion you want off, um, screen space reflection you want off, and then that looks good, yeah, and film grain we want zero. Yeah, so once you have these settings, you should be good for Warzone. And that takes us to the end of our PC optimization video. So hopefully these tips help you get the most out of your video card and let me know if it worked for you. Good luck.